Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Storming Silver. Now we're back in it. All we're left with is we gotta fight Faulkner. So yeah, I do want to uh, get Leafeon, but I think that despite Leafeon being stronger, having a higher base stat total, it's not a good idea while uh, I'm currently trying to fight a flying gym. So I'm thinking, if I keep knocking out a bunch of his Pokemon, that's good EXP for the ones that stay alive. So I can just keep challenging him until I win, because I get stronger every time. He's got cells about electricity. Just like we saw in the last episode, and we're now fighting Faulkner. I love this music. Dang, I forgot the music pause to fight Chaco Bias. Alright, gotta go for that same old confusion just like always. Battle starts off the exact same. He uses quick attack, I live on one, I hit it with confusion. I mean, I guess it could pay to... Can I switch to Murkrow? Wow. I didn't expect Ralts to be keeping it on the edge like that. Usually he just KOs like that. Guess I'll growl. Yeah, it's 1 HP. I'm not gonna switch out just for someone else to have to take a full force feint attack. Yeah, I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna use... Ju oh, I forgot to restock on any potions. Alright, I'll just have to rock throw. Crit? Oh man. Maybe I can crit and KO then. Oh, so close. I bet I live one. I bet I live one. Tackle can kill. If I don't live one, then I might as well just give up. That was close. Yo, dude. Again, more XP. Who levels up? Who wants to learn Uproar? So far, Uproar has done a lot of damage to me. Let me take a look at this. User attacks an Uproar for two to five turns. Over that time, no one can fall asleep. All right, and it's 90 power? I swear it used to be weaker than that. But yeah, that's... All right, I'm going to put over Peck because if I'm using a flying attack, I'm going to use Air Cutter. But I'm gonna keep tackle for a normal attack in case I want to use normal if in case I need to use a normal type attack that doesn't lock me in for two to five turns. Yeah, that uproar is 90 power. In fact, you know what? Gotta try it out right now. Now let me see what 90 base power does. That's 90 base power stab, by the way. Not as much as I'd hoped. Well, locked in now. Well, I'm just locked in while it's roosting. I'll be low on health. Alright. I know I've tried this before, but I think it's a little bit lower on health than some of the other times. I'm sure Tackle can KO this time. Please. Pidgeotto already? I'm gonna switch to Squirtle? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, if I lose this time, I might just have to go grind. I hate grinding, but I might have to if I can't beat him. I'm gonna heal Geodude. I'm certain to get out of this thread, so my options are heal Geodude to full right now. You know what? I'm gonna save that potion for if he starts to get low on health again. I'm gonna just go for tackle, see if I can land it. I can't. Yeah. It'd be really nice if my pull off, if I could add like Will O Wisp or something to land a burn. I forgot to use Mud Slap instead of Aerial Ace. Come on, you can hit the rock throw. Yes! Please, Kale, please, Kale. Critical hit or something. Ah, and it's gets healed. Yeah, I kind of need Geodude, so I'm gonna switch out to Eevee. Because Geodude's just gonna get KO'd right there. My accuracy fell? Let's see how you like it. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Aerial Ace never misses. I forgot about that. So that was a useless waste of a turn. Alright. But here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna potion up Geodude. Alright, now I have no more potions. That was my last potion. So... Geodude's my super effective guy. I'm gonna go with the lava first. I'm gonna try and get a burn. safely keep going for Ember, and if I get a burn, then he's done. Yes! Physical attack, have. But it's too late. The lava's still gonna go down. The lava doesn't go down. I'm gonna go for tackle now. I should have gone for quick attack, but it's okay. I was bad anyways. Geodude's level 14 now, which means he can take a hit easier. I mean, I might as well. He's at 1 HP. I might as well just keep going for... Uh, I'm gonna go for a burn again. Yeah. Alright, now I can switch to Geodude. Uproar is not very effective. I should be able to tank this. Not as good as I'd hoped. At least Murkrow's already down, so I can hit every. So I don't think he has any more guys that have neutrally uh, attacking moves. And his guy having Mud Slap was the last one that had that, I think. Oh, that's not to partially damage the duo that I can rock throw. Alright, I, I resist. Come on. Yes, that's only did four damage. I can I can keep going. I can keep going. Oh, I can KO. I can KO. Yes! Yeah, Geodude MVP. <laughs> the battle. But also getting that getting that uh what's it called? Pet uh what's his name? Other guy. Uh like the rest of the teams did also did pretty good. Like everything was useful. I that's why I worked down to the last guy. Now rock polish is a pretty good is a pretty good setup move. But I'm going to put Magnitude over it. Obviously, Magnitude won't be very good for this specific battle. Farfetch'd is his last guy. The wind is finally with us! Rock throw. I just gotta hope. I do just like 4 damage like the other guy. Right, yeah, 4 damage exact. We can still fly. 
It didn't say super effective. It's Farfetch'd, not Blind type in this game. Or does he have an ability that makes him like... Yeah, it's just doing neutral damage, but it's still KO'd anyways. Maybe that's just a glitch. Here he is, level 16. I'll blow out, I'll bow out gracefully. All right, nice. For pity's sake, my dad's cherished first Pokemon. But defeat is a defeat, all right. Take this official Pokemon League badge. This one is the Zephyr badge. With that badge, Pokemon, including trade Pokemon up to level 20, will obey you without question. Also, they have GTUs, they can move Rock Smash to any time outside of battle. Ladies and TM of Pokemon that's funny, they're in the move. Think before you act, TM can only be used once. Contains Ruse. Okay, so it is Ruse. I would thought since he used Ar Aerial Ace, it's like all of his Pokemon that they changed it, but yeah, it's still Ruse. Yeah, and I guess Ruse, last episode I complained about him having Ruse, as if that was like some sort of new thing. No, I remember he does have Ruse in the original game. There are Pokemon gyms in cities and towns that make good use of them. As for your next move, I would suggest Azalea Town. So I am going to evolve it, my Eevee into Leafeon, even though my, the next uh, big trainer battle is against the uh, bug type, which is good against grass. But uh, like I didn't want to evolve Eevee since the next battle coming up was a flying gym leader. But there's going to be multiple battles between now and Azalea Town. Well, Tobit, we've discovered something. The details are, well, I can't really say anything, but we want you to carry that egg. My assistant is at the Pokemon in Violet City. Could you go meet him and pick up that egg? Alright. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna save real quick since I beat the gym. Mm hmm. I hope there's some uh, Pokemon X. Uh, guys, Pokemon X is uh, also a very nostalgic favorite of mine, but it, it's known for not being as hard. So if there's like a difficulty up upping a Pokemon X mod or ROM hack that makes it uh, that makes it tougher, I would definitely like that one. All right. All right, sorry, Rolfs. You're getting deposited. All right, so now I have Eevee, soon to be Leafeon. Geodude is definitely my rock round for right now. It's also my set, like, well, my strongest Pokemon. Hootoot is epic, and Squirtle, and Quilava. Alright, so once Togepi hatches, I know I'm giving the thing to him. Alright, so yeah, assistance here. Long time no see, Toby, I've been waiting for you. This is from Professor Alton. This thing is, we'd like you to take care of an egg. After you left, Professor Alm had to receive a phone call. I have no idea what they were talking about, but after a while, Professor Alm suddenly cried out, I can't think of anyone more suited for that than Tobit. He then he insisted that I hand this egg to you. That's how I came here to deliver the egg to you. It seems that Pokemon will hatch from, the, from it only when you keep it in your party of Pokemon. That's another reason we've chosen you, Pokemon. Please take care of it. Yeah, now I have the egg down there. That'll hatch when uh, when I get there. When I go, after once it hatches, I'm giving the EXP share to it for sure. Now I'm wondering, since Hootoot is uh, level 13 now, putting it as a uh, higher level than both Squirtle and Eevee. Squirtle. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna give 
.exp share to Squirtle for right now, just because uh, he doesn't have like any good attacking moves really, he's still just using, trying to run the tackle and bubble. Which, I guess Gulava is still running with Tackle, Ember, and Quick Attack and working out. But he's evolved, so he has bigger, so he has more power. Also, Woodland Ore. I'm going to evolve my Eevee now. I've always wanted the Leafeon. Leafeon. I really hope I didn't just screw myself over by like I'm gonna I'm gonna check something real quick. Alright, sorry about that. I just went and googled uh I know with some stone evolution Pokemon to keep you from just evolving them as soon as you can get a stone. Uh like they have this trade-off where like they get stronger but they learn less moves. Uh and so you like you wanna have um and they're lower you don't have them pre-evolved for a bit to learn moves. So I looked up the Heart Gold Soul Silver moves and I saw like, yeah, you can you can still level up and uh, get moves in uh, in with Leafeon. And there's definitely been some changes to move sets. Uh, usually adding more moves into it. Like I, I'm pretty sure. Uh, like I don't think Hoodoo usually learns Air Cutter that early, and I know Magikarp doesn't learn Reversal. So, I'm sure they've even added more to Leafeon's moveset. Me, oh my, that egg must be. I see, so it was handed from Mr. Pokemon to Professor Elm, then Professor Elm to you. Now I get it. That egg is truly an important egg. Please do take good care of it for me. Is that understood? I am counting on you. Now Falkner's here too. Go ahead, I must say I rather enjoyed our battle. I'd like to give you my phone number, it might be useful in the future. Huh. Cheer on, and good luck with your future gym challenges. That's pretty cool. Leafeon is looking down steadily. Why so serious? Seems to be feeling great about walking with you. Ah, uh, nice. Okay, I'm gonna save. I've always wanted to use Leafeon. It's always been my favorite of the Eevee evolutions. Like, I was never like a huge like Eevee and Eevee evolution fan. Like, I know it's a giant fan favorite. But it was never like my absolute favorite. But Leafeon is one of my favorite Pokemon. Mm -hmm. So that's my first fully evolved Pokemon in this run. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go down here. Check out the ruins. I know what these guys have to say about what uh, Leaf has to say about the ruins. Gazing around restlessly. So we're gonna go into the main hall here. has a mystical quality to it, or historic quality, or an eerie quality, or an ancient quality, or solemn quality, or frosty quality. Nothing to feel sort of ethereal. So you don't actually encounter unknown yet. I didn't actually realize this because I usually just didn't spend too much time. Like I love, I love doing stuff, but I like most of the time I spent like I usually solved a lot of the puzzle stuff before going down there. Anyways, apparently the unknown don't spawn in until after you do a puzzle. It's just that I never pay enough attention to being in there before doing the puzzle. Ruins of Elf. Well, there's an item here. Let's go ahead and rock smash. Hyper Potion. Wow. I'm saving for the later game when I actually have 
uh, health that needs 200 HP healed. Welcome to this chamber. We are reconstructing ancient Pokemon stone panels. You can rotate stone panel pieces by touching them for a short time. If you touch a panel and slide around, you can move it around. We think we should be able to put them back where they were. Escape. So you want to use an escape rope in here. That, that's something that I didn't use to... Like... I didn't know what you're supposed to do with those, but... I did, uh... I recently watched a video on the Ruins of Alf stuff. Like, I didn't think there were- I think- I thought that I just kind of figured most of the stuff out, or like, maybe there was a secret story I was missing. Didn't, know, didn't even realize that existed. Pokemon hides on the seafloor and watches the shore with eyes on its back. Ah, yeah, you guys can only read that top thing. You can't actually see the Kabuto puzzle down here. Well, it's- pretty easy, so don't worry, you're not missing too much. I still like it a lot. It, the, it being easy isn't like a complaint. Especially as a kid when I was less good at those. Oh, there's a glitch. Yeah, that was a weird glitch up there. Technical glitch. You just come down from above, so you must solve the stone panel puzzle. That is wonderful. You seem to have some talent with archaeology. I'll give you this unknown report. The record's unknown as you capture them. I'm sure it'll come in handy. I never actually got around to catching all the unknowns. Strange presence here. Yeah, now unknown show up. I've always wanted unknown to be, like, strong so I can use it. That is higher level than usual. Usually they're not level 15. Let's hit it with a bite. Use this hidden power. Alright, whatever type it has down here is neutral. Oh yeah, I didn't check what type, what uh, ability Leafeon got when it evolved. Well first, let's go ahead and yeah, I got 11 Pokeballs and a Premier Ball. Let's catch this baby. Nice. Yeah, if I didn't have... I wish I would known that the Unknown were gonna be that high a level. I thought they usually just spawned in at level 5. If I'd known it was level 15, I would've swapped out Ralts for it. Like, now I'm gonna have the Egg and train Togepi up. But... Yeah, I would have definitely kept this. I would have definitely rather used that than... Since they both it and Ralts, I was just running with one ability. I'll leave you on. Let me... Summary, check your thing. Leaf Guard prevents problems with status in sunny weather. That's pretty cool. So I can run a sun team. So I'm gonna go ahead and can't escape. Dang, that sucks. Yeah, it's actually treacherous down here while my Pokemon aren't but uh, while that thing's while they're higher level than me. I think it was cool to catch one, but right, I wonder I'm pretty sure this Oh, glitch. Let me just exit and go back in. Oh you're the person who released unknown, right? I don't know how many different unknown there are, but for Every seven different forms you catch, come and see me. I'll give you something nice. I fear the Ruins Research Center is excellent, and the research is making good progress at so no effort on my part. If you have any questions, feel free to talk to the staff. Wow, oh, did you catch an unknown? That's wonderful. Come to think of it. How come we've started to see unknown? Strange Pokemon you saw in the ruins? They appear very much like the drawings on the walls. 
That must mean there are very many different kinds of them. Yeah, I love the mystery of the unknown. If you guys want me to come back and do this, just like comment down below, okay? Like, just, just comment that you want me to do the unknown mystery. I'll just come back and do it. But for right now, I'm gonna go up, heal up my Letheon. Come to think of it, why don't they use the bike? Heal up. Yeah, so I got the unknown thing started. Yeah, I'm gonna be down a Pokemon slot until I get that Togepi out. It is cool that they give you access to any evolution you want. Wait up, what's the hurry? You have some good Pokemon there. It must be from the training gave them around Violet City. The training at the gym must have been especially helpful. As a souvenir, Violet City, take this. Increase the power of grass type moves. Nice. Miracle Seed. Well, I know who I'm giving that. He doesn't actually know a grass type move yet. But when Leafeon does learn the grass type move, which I'm uh, pretty sure he learns Razor Leaf at level 15 and original Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Is that double battle? People run when I roar, but you came looking. That pleases me. Now take this. <laughs> That's a funny way to get. Roar, it's roar. Even Pokemon run from a good roar. <laughs> yeah, I'm not so sure. But hey, I hope this is actually a double battle. I haven't seen you around before, so you think you're pretty tough? Yes, it's a double battle. I, I like double battles. I found some good Pokemon on the grass. I think they'll do it for me. Since one of those guys is a fisherman, which I wish I had a grass that moved like Parasol Lady Joan and Ruin Maniac Gordon. Yeah, Ruin Maniac is definitely new. Parasol Lady is from Gen 5. Leafeon and Hootoot. Too bad I don't have my grass type attacks yet. This would be a perfect time to use it. Well, here, I'll go ahead and use bite on sand shrew like let's still stay in with leafeon because it resists both ground and electric who too good against uh sand shrew not good against marie at all so i'm gonna switch the geodude in his place get that electric type attack off me Sandshrew flinched! And Thundershock doesn't affect Geodude. Nice. Alright, yeah. Bite Sandshrew and then Geodude. I'll just go with Magnitude hits all. And I don't really want to hit Leafeon, so... I'll just go for Stab Rock Throw on Marie. Rapid Spin. Ooh, that sucks. No! I have an idea. I'm gonna try switching to Futut from Leafeon. And then I have Geodude use Magnitude. Poison Sting. At least it's not super effective, so that was actually a decent switch. And then it charges up, increasing its special defense, but the big ground type attack here is physical. Yeah, it doesn't affect Hoot Hoot, so I can just do damage to these guys. Nice. Alright, Drift Loon. I also have Sandshrew use Air Cutter, and uh, I'll have Geodude use Rocks. Rock a throw since that's super effective here. 
I used Gust on the rock type when there's someone that would... It did do a crit. Yeah, Air Cutter's gonna hit both these guys. Sanctuary avoided the attack. Why are they both hitting the one that resists their attacks? Rock throw on that Drifloon. Nice. ET grants XP, Squirtle gets XP from the XP share. Level up, Dude gets XP. And then, yeah, I'm gonna have Kutu use uh, Air Cutter again and have, I'll just have Geodude use Panko, I guess. Leafeon gets the XP because it was in the battle when Sanchu was out. So. Oh, Squirtle level up again. Nice. Once in water got- Alright, Squirtle's finally learning a better water type move. I just gotta put that over Bubble since there's no reason to use Bubble when I have Water Gun. Bubble is horribly weak. 20 base power. Then tackle, nothing there. Onyx. Alright. So Hutu won't do much damage. I'm gonna have it use Hypnosis. I want it to stay in so that I can use my super effective magnitude. And Hypnosis just like always hits. Yeah, it doesn't affect Hutu, and I can just hit Onyx for super effective stab damage. And yeah, like I could switch to. I'm gonna switch to. I'm gonna actually still use Magnitude again. So, like, I could switch to uh, Squirtle and use his super effective attack, but then Magnitude would. Oh, looks like whoever was in that slot takes damage, anyways. Rest in peace, Hoot Hoot. So, I guess Geodude gets this Onyx's EXP all for himself. And Squirtle got sudden because of the XP share. You're strong. Shucks, I thought I could win. Well, both because of paralysis and... Oh, whoops. I don't even know how I opened that. Whoops. Open, like, I opened, like, some weird, like, taskbar on the bottom. Like, I literally don't even have to touch grass. It's to get out of here. And when I go back in, it's go... To back where I was was like three blade like grass spaces. So I don't have to worry about wild encounter super easy, like free heal. When I'm deeper into the route, I won't want to go back as much. But right there is perfect. Alright, I'm gonna see about now that Squirtle is level 13, that Leafeon's gonna have the Miracle Seed. Yeah, I'll go ahead and just uh, keep the what's it called on. I'll go ahead and just keep it on Squirtle for right now. He's also having him evolve into Wart. He, uh, he's the next one that'll be evolving. Then after that, uh, will be after his evolution, knocked out with the next one up at level 20, which. I, judging by how things have been going with the levels in this one, I might actually be at like getting them up to level around near level 20 by the time I'm at Bugsy. Encounter time. Minkata. Aethon, great Pokemon. Not great type matchup right here. Yeah, resist now. 
literally one damage. Okay, here, I'll use Ember. If it survives, I'll catch it. If not, I'm not gonna try it for it right now. It's as great as getting the like full dex thing would be. Oh, Wolfie's neat. I don't really want to like go super far out of my way for it right now because it's kind of annoying to like catch a Pokemon when I can is nice. But I'm not like some super catching master. Like this guy, low on health. Hasn't even hit me. He's coming in here nice and easy. He's coming along. I can just throw a Pokeball. Yeah, like I already got it. Like unless like something pops up that I really want to use on my team. I'm pretty set right now. I'll get Togepi, give it the XP share. Ooper's beta was added. And I got Ooper now. Alright. Uh huh, yeah, and you know, part in Pokemon Battle, I'm on the phone. Alright, I'll accept your challenge. I know there's a lot of people that you can uh, call with. She got poison, huge disadvantage, easy switch to Geodude. Check OBS real quick. It's been 20 minutes. Critical hit. That crit mattered. <laughs> Squirtle levels up. Ponyta. No, since Squirtle already gets the XP from the thing, I'm just gonna. Hit magnitude again. Yeah, I'm resisting that. Magnitude 9, no way it survives. Because since they're both already gonna get the same EXP anyways, I might as well just have both of them get EXP rather than only switching and Squirtle and having him only get it. Before I could get serious, I lost. Oh, you're on a big journey to see the sights? Neat. Let's be friends. Can I have your phone number? I want to hear about everything you've seen. Yes. Now getting all the phone numbers is cool. I'll phone you if I hear you anything if I hear anything interesting. Alright, I know there's two routes here. I can go through the grass route or the water route. The grass route is supposed to have more wild Pokemon. A glance, it's intriguing. I think I'll go through the grass route and then I'll go back up through the water route. Go ahead and check all my bases. Alright, once again, easy switch to Geodude against the poison type. The grand's getting pumped and I'm using magnitude. Ooh, it actually got a super effective attack on me. It does four damage. And that focus energy paid off. But it's not surviving magnitude nine. Diglett. Um if Leafeon had a super effect had its grass move, I'd actually switch to Leafeon. But Squirtle will actually be better in this situation because it has the grass move. And because it has the water move. Not grass move. Oh no! Oh nice. Nice, this is free even. Didn't even take any damage. 
There you go. And put Diglett underground, where it usually is. <laughs> now Squirtle's up to level 15. Yeah, when Squirtle gets to level 16 and evolves, I'll give the thing back over to... I'll give the EXP share to Leafeon, since it's actually falling behind in levels. Or Actually, wait, no. I'll give it to Hootoot so Hootoot can level up. Can, so Hootoot can evolve. And then after Hootoot evolves, I'll, that's when I'll... If I still don't have Togepi uh, hatched yet, then I'll give it to Leafeon for a bit to get some EXP until... Leap until uh, Togepi is hatched. This is disappointing. Yeah, I'll go ahead and go up there for the item. Oh, Bellsprout. I'm actually higher level. I should be able to get away this time, right? Great ball. Nice. Alright. I know what you're thinking. Why didn't you go catch the bell sprout? I did, just didn't want to deal with the big complicated that bullet seed. Hmm. You know, that could be good, uh... Bullet Seed is already just an early game move, easy to just use right away. Yeah, Leafeon actually can learn Bullet Seed. So since Bullet Seed isn't like a super strong move that I'll want to lose, use for a long time anyways, I'll just put it over Tail Whip and then when Leafeon learns a better Grass type move, I'll give it the better one. Also, I'm going to check Leafeon's stats real fast because as much as I love Leafeon, I haven't actually used it yet. Let's not switch. Summary. So yeah, it's a physical attacker, actually. So it's a physical attack. And so yeah, Leaf Blade, Razor Leaf, they have physical attacks. And Bullet Seed is a physical attack. Yeah, I'm gonna hit that save button. So yeah, going over here for that Bullet Seed. So yeah, now I can use... So now against like rock, ground types, I can rock and ground types or water types. I have good uh, grass type coverage. Like I have an actual grass type move to use. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna check ahead real quick. Okay, so yeah, there is a Pokemon Center. I'd like to have this tasty, nutritious Slowpoke Tail for one million Poke Dollars. And scram, shoot. Pretty sure that's like a, that tree has like a special Pokemon in it or something. I don't know. So it has that path. This area is great for fishing. You can see loads of water type Pokemon. Do you like water type Pokemon? Yes. Fantastic. You should take this TM. Contains water pools. Bonjour, are you already picking apricorns? Yes. Let me go, little apricorn collector. I feel so great. I want to give you this. Lure balls. So if I go fishing, this makes it easy to catch but come up here when you go fishing. Actually, this is made from apricorns. Here are those two small gifts for me. If you want more, go to Azalea Town and meet a, king, man, a man called Kirk who makes special Pokeballs out of apricorns. Apricorns rule. What should I make my Pokemon hold? Maybe an item that increases its attack power? Yeah, real quick, let's heal up. And yeah, I'm just gonna heal and then go train against the fishermen. That'll be a good way to get some good XP. And then... Water Pulse. That's like, insanely good. Like, that's crazy good. So, Squirtle's already my water type. Here's my, here's one thing. I think it might already learn Water Pulse naturally, like in Heart Gold, Soul Silver, uh, Cerebi.net. Uh, got it. Sorry, out. I don't know why I said Cerebi.net. Like, I'm, go I'm going to Cerebi.net. I don't know why I said that while I was saying. Yeah, real quick, I'm just gonna type in War Turtle. 
click on it, click on Gen 4 decks. And just like, if it already learns it, then I'll save it for later to see if I can... Yeah, War Turtle gets... It does get at level 28, though. So... Uh, here, on pause. Whoops, not Fire Pulse on Quill Lava, that's not what I wanted. Yeah, the mouse thing. So yeah, I think I actually will use Water Pulse, because here's the thing. The only other water type I'm likely to get on this journey is Gyarados. And Water Pulse, like, you get, uh, Gyarados is a physical attacker anyways. But yeah, uh, Squirtle gets his Water Pulse at, uh, like, when he's got evolved next in, like, a level or, like, he either evolved at 16 or 18. I think 16. But yeah. Uh, so that'll be until level 28 to get Water Pulse. If I can get Water Pulse right now, that's really good. It's literally just superior to Water Gun. Water Gun is just 40 base power base water move. Uh, Water Pulse is 60 base power and also has a chance to confuse. So it's just upgrading to the superior form. So yeah, I'm given... Squirtle, the, water, the ability to use Water Pulse, and then a save. Oh, okay, a call from Wade. Good evening, Toba. It's me, Wade. Were you awake? Found all kinds of berries. If you want, I'll share some with you. I'll be waiting on Route 31. I'm not gonna walk all the way back. Ah, uh, <laughs> glitchy. Yeah, the glitch usually just undoes itself. Alright, just checking OBS, making sure nothing's bad over here. Here, look, I'll walk right back in there. No glitch. Sometimes the game just glitches. And now... I'm gonna head up here. And train against the fishers. I'm really good at fishing, but I'm even better at Pokemon. Alright, Fisherman Ralph. Here's the thing that's unfortunate for you. My lead is a Leafeon that knows Bullet Seed. Alright, if I can hit three times, then I KO. Come on, one more time. Yeah! And Goldeen fainted. Leafeon gained some EXP! And Squirrel got some too back there. Quillfish. Alright, that's actually pretty good because that count the it's now neutral damage. Now Geodude, risky play here because I am quad weak to water. But I think if I can outspeed, which I probably will because I'm three levels higher, magnitude. Oh never mind. I don't outspeed, but he does just go for minimize, which isn't damage. Evasiveness, there's a possible magnitude 10 and it lands. There's no way this thing lives. Squirtle leveled up. Wants to learn Bite. Yeah, Squirt now Squirtle's gotten a good move set. Yeah, I'm gonna put that over Tail Whip. Alright, Squirtle learned Bite. I tried to rush things. Now Squirrel's got evolved too. As much as I love Blastoise, admittedly, War Turtle, I do like a little bit more. I just think it looks extra cool. But I also love Blastoise. Nice, got War Turtle. I got my starters at their mid evolution before the second thing. Aqua Jet, that's new. Yeah, forgot to move. Now see, there is actually a reason to have both Aqua Jet and Water Pulse. Because Aqua Jet has lower power, but it's water type quick attack. So I'm going to put it over Withdraw. And keep Water Pulse. Or totally you learned Aqua Jet. Don't young people fish anymore? I can teach you how to fish well if you'd like to exchange phone numbers with me. Sure. 
the phone number. That's great. I'm happy to have made a younger friend. All right. So now that Squirtle has evolved into War Turtle, I'm going to take the... Whoops, not give. I'm going to take the EXP share. Give it to Hutu. Give EXP share. And so that Hutu can get some extra EXP. Leafeon's already gonna be getting EXP from being the main one doing the fighting here. Seeing as most of these guys are water will be sending out water types. And as long as it isn't Quillfish, Bullet Seed should be able to do good damage. Because it's Stab, I have good physical attack, I'm an evolved Pokemon, it's super effective, and Miracle Seed boosts the power. Nice! Yeah, then. Hey, right, this is just a magic heart battle. But that's level 15. Oh, still, yeah. Mm -hmm. Feebass. That's a neat way to switch it up. These, uh, a bunch of Magikarp trainers also having the Hoenn version of, uh, it outsped, but it just used Splash. Sorry if you hear a bunch of, like, stuff moving around. I move my chair a lot when I'm playing games. I gave a lot more XP than, a uh, Magikarp, though. Yeah, this is enough Magikarp slash a Feebas to level up my Leafeon. Critical hit. Nice. Level 13. Wants to learn, learn Laser Leap. Ah. So, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and... Uh, let's see. Razor Leaf, 55. I crit ratio, that is new. But also, I do see that now it's 95% accuracy instead of 100. Because I remember before, I was like, wait, that Bellsprout's uh, Razor Leaf missed, and I hadn't. Uh, what's it called? I hadn't used any attacks on it. Now, it does feel a little bit like a waste to already be replacing Bullet Seed, like, uh, literally after one level up. But also, Bullet Seed was the reason I could level up. And admittedly... Alright, here for right now... Alright. Because I'm thinking... What, realistically, will I be using Bullet Seed if I have... Alright, Bullet Seed has... 25 power. Two shots is the guaranteed amount. So that's 50 damage. So that's 50. So it has the potential to just keep going and do more. In fact, I feel like usually, since two is only the bare minimum, usually you're gonna get three, it's more likely to get three, four, or five than it is for two. Because there's a one out of five chance for each one. So Bullet Seed could actually be pretty good here. I think it won't be as good later in the game. And I definitely want Razor Leaf. Uh, so I'm gonna put Razor Leaf over Sand Attack, actually. I'm gonna have Leafeon just be a solid attacking Pokemon. My Pokemon freshly caught. Fisherman Henry. Poliwag. You can see, as it goes... There's a chance for it to only be 50, but it's more likely for it to actually at least uh, be 75. Though, so, like, doing the math, there's like a slight... Both of them do have their edge. So I'm going to have Razor Leaf on me. And, like... The difficulty will be, like, deciding which one to ditch when I get a different move later. So 
right now, I feel like Bullet Seed's actually slightly better. It has 100 accuracy, so it's guaranteed to hit as long as I don't have uh, anything lowered. Which... And it also... While on base, it will have 5 points less power and it's a damage output. It... Realistically, that's only if I get the bare minimum unlucky roll. Four out of five times, it'll be higher than 50 power. Splash? Mm hmm Yeah, these are just some little EXP farms right here. Alright, yeah, I already won. I'll heal up just to get, uh, what's it called? Let's see, gotta check. Uh, oh, checked OBS right as I looked, right as I got a glitch. And I'm gonna go ahead and get healed up just to get the power points all back in. So yeah, I'm gonna have that... Leafeon's basically gonna get me through the cave. Also, yeah, that's another reason I want to evolve Leafeon before, uh, going, like, before the bug gym rather than waiting till afterwards, because grass type is a very good type to have while you're getting through this here. Whoops, did not mean to go back in. Grass type is a very good type to have while you're going through the caves. Union Cave ahead. Soothe Bell. What does that do again exactly? Makes it more friendly, so that's if you're wanting to raise the friendship level thing. Alright, now real fast. I'm just gonna switch my lead to Geodude right here since I see this guy's a. I'm pretty sure this guy's a bird trainer. Not bad, just from Violet City, you beat Faulkner? I'm pretty sure I remember it being a bird trainer. I could, no, it's just an ace trainer, so... I guess I didn't need to... But he does lead with the bird, so it was still a good idea to switch to have Geo to do my lead. Ooh. That's not good. That's very not good. Gotta try again. <sighs> Quick attack. That was a crit, so yeah. It's not doing much damage to me. I just gotta hope for a rock pit. <sighs> I just gotta hope for my move to hit. Since it friggin' used double team. Oh, but it's lowering my attack. So now I'm gonna have to switch out and. Well, first I'm gonna see if I can even. I hate. Evasiveness raising moves. Okay, please still KO. No, and now I need to. If I didn't have the Intimidate and. Gang. Right, come on, just get two hits in a row. Please, 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 please. No. Uh, double teaming? A double team is one of the dumbest moves in the game. Alright, I got the hit. I'm all good. And I got crit. <laughs> Oddish coming in next. That'll be a good way for Hutu to actually to get some EXP. And I actually should have sent out the lava since Hutu will get EXP anyways. Now that I think about it. Whatever, I'll still go for air cutter. Just see how Hutu's doing here. Alright, it'll be a two hit KO. And Razor Leaf can't do that much, I resist. Oh yeah, we eat that. But yeah, I should have, uh, since Hutu has the EXP share, I should have actually given it, I should have actually had Quilava out. Oh, yeah, Quilava probably would have won it KO'd. Less damage would have been taken. And, ooh, I, I meant to quick catch. Alright, didn't miss anyway, so it's all good. Not that I thought it would miss, I was just I was gonna go for tackle instead of air cutter on that one. But yeah, they would have both gotten the same amount of EXP if I had had Quilava out. 
Ella kid. Well, that's obvious. Geo did it again. Yeah. Geodude is insanely good right here. Because, like... And I know he's just gonna keep being useful, because the next gym is... Just like the previous one, weak to rock. And then the third gym, while not weak to rock, uh, it does rock resist normal. Self-destruct. Um, let me just look at my moves. Is there any crap moves that I want to get rid of? Nope. No crap moves to have with a joke self-destruct. Yeah, no. Give up on self -destruct. I'm not going to use the explosion move. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Need a Reno. Yeah, I'm going to hit with, uh, Earth... Not Earthquake, but, uh, Magnitude again. Does that resist poison from being a ground type? Does Ron calls for great resist poison? I don't remember. Uh, magnitude, super effective stab, critical hit. Mm -hmm. I know what my weaknesses are. I just train at the gym in Violet City. Yeah, let's go ahead and heal up. <laughs> just because we're about to enter a cave, and we're also going to see 45 minutes. See, I still have time for continuing this video. <laughs> and then, great as Geodude's been. And I switch back to Leafeon as the lead Pokemon. And glitched out. So I'm gonna go inside and go back out. And there, glitch gone. Yeah, sometimes it'll just be an occasional glitch. Uh, like, it, that didn't happen in the DS version. So that. Like, I like playing as accurate to the DS version as I can, because that's what I am so used to playing. So that's why, but at least like, there's no like other like giant issues bugging it. It's not like it's a constant occurrence. Like it's happened more frequently this episode for some reason. But like, I, it just like sometimes happens. It's, like, I'm sure I can even find a rhyme or reason to it. Yeah, this is the Union Cave. And true. So yeah. Go ahead and use Razor Leaf. If it survives, I'll catch it. If not, then I just get a good XP. Rapid Spin. Critical hit. And yeah, I'll go ahead and throw a Pokeball. Got it. I only took like seven damage. I'm not gonna leave just to heal that up. Nice, got a sand shrew in on the box. Yeah. Caves are kind of treacherous. All right, but at least. At least, uh, the cave, since I have a Pokemon with super effective types against most cave mons. Ooh, only hit twice. I was hoping for a higher amount of hits to get the KO in one turn. Because it'll be some good training to get through the cave. And that's a Zubat. I'm just gonna hope I can run. Please let me run. Thank you. Zubat's what I don't want to deal with. I'm fine with dealing with Geodudes and uh, Sand Shrews and stuff. Zubats don't want to deal with. 
Whoa, what a surprise. I didn't expect to see Enra in here. Oh, this guy has an Onyx. It's double super effective, I'm sure, Bullet Seed can KO. Also, Bullet Seed is better for this situation since Sturdy would protect it if I did Oko. Alright. Yeah, as long as I hit three times, <laughs> get that sweet KO first turn. And that's level 14. Nice. We do get some XP, level 16. Whoa, I'm beating big time. <laughs> You're at Azalea, are you? Love my Pokemon see if you are good enough to battle. Like your Russell. Geodude. Hey, I have one of those. <laughs> That's so cool using Leafeon. Finally. Because I've never... I've always loved it, but I've never gotten the chance to use it. I've had the chance. Like, I could catch it in, uh... Scarlet and Violet. Well, Scarlet. I don't have Violet. I have to end up using it. Mm -hmm. Nose Pass. I'm pretty sure Pro Pass gets the Steel type. I'm pretty sure it's still just Rock type right now. Yep. Come on, hit three times. No! Oh, at least he just went for Harden. I'll go for Razor Leaf just to uh, save some Bullet Seed PP. Because if I'm going through this cave, KOing a bunch of Rock and Ground type Pokemon. I got my uh, power points. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, another Sand Shrew. Which, yeah, as far as we've seen, Razor Leaf doesn't doko. Bullet Seed KOs as long as I hit more than twice. Or I get a crit. So maybe after a level up, and since that one was only level 12, I actually would have gotten the one at KO with Razor Leaf. That guy's a fire breather. I'm gonna switch up my team real quick. I'm gonna let War Turtle get a chance out in the sun. Let's talk to War Turtle, in fact. War Turtle is standing guard. Dang it. We gotta sprint in front of the next guy. I mean, Wartortle can also take down a Sandshrew. Yeah, let's get Water Pulse in here. Ooh! If I hadn't caught a Sandshrew yet, that would be a perfect uh, range to catch. But, let's see. I, I already outsped, so I'm just gonna use Tackle. Crit! That crit mattered! Alright, get some XP. I know Fire Breathers also use Poison types. Zubat Super Sonic keeps confusing my Pokemon. I'm seriously upset about that. I feel that. <laughs> Fire Breather Bill. Coughing. Ah, dang, he leads with the... Uh... Well, let's see how he likes being confused by Water Pulse. Yeah, I can't just switch to Geodude because coughing has left it. I actually did get the confusion. You can't script content like that. And I gotta fight a smog. Please don't poison, please don't poison. Nice, thank you. Let's see Uncle Jet do some work. Alright, hit yourself, hit yourself, hit yourself, hit yourself, hit yourself. Yes, thank you. Magby. And yeah, this is why I had War Tour loves my leads, is because I tied using fire types, but also the poison types would have been super effective on Leafeon, anyways. There we go. Beat Magby. 
almost level enough. The dude's level 17 now. Wants to learn Reflect. Let me just look at my moves. Uh... Good as uh, Reflect and stuff is competitively, I don't usually set up screens in a uh, well, single player mode, like uh, you can't story mode, but, like a regular playthrough. Man, Charmander, nice. Having the starter just out like that. I remember being shocked when I actually saw a trainer in the original Soul Silver just having a War Portal near the end of the game. I was like, It was like a level 32 War Turtle. Well, not near the end of the game, but like, not super close to the beginning either. Great Ball. Then I'm gonna switch back to Leafeon because since Leafeon's lower level, I'm trying to get it some, it can get some good experience being out like this. I don't know what this guy's type specialty is gonna be. I roam far and wide in search of Pokemon. Are looking for Pokemon 2? Then you're my collecting rival. I know it's the Pokemaniac, but I don't know what, uh, like, Pokemon he's gonna use. Oh, nice! So Grass was a good lead. Yep, I know for Bullet Seed to uh, hit at least three times. <laughs> three times will be a KO. Ooh! Using Growl at this point in the game. <laughs> Nice, get some EXP, level up. Get some RSD for Hootie as well, and Cubone. Leafeons once again, good against. Let's hope for three hits on my bullet seed this time. I actually need four after that attack drop. Or I'll get a crit, wow. Oh, my poor Pokemon. Alright, I'm pretty sure the exit's this direction, and I'm pretty sure there's an item around this way. Oh, the item is around the other way. Awakening! For all my complaining about sleep. <laughs> West Vizalia Town. Now, I know there is a bit more I could explore in that cave, but I already beat like the main trainers that you fight along the way and exploring a cave can get a little bit tedious. If I really need like some hardcore training, I can come back I suppose. I finally got through that cave. It was much bigger than I expected. I got too tired to explore the whole thing so I came outside. Apricorn tree. Get the pink apricorn. Apricorn tree. Black apricorn. There we go. Then there should be a guy I can fight over here. Yeah, the final the hike that I think I came through cave by self plenty of energy left. It's always like the final showdown before you get to Azalea Town. And he's got Geodude. And it's raining. I'm pretty sure it's scripted to always rain the first time you go there. The first time you exit the cave. And Geodude's down. Rain continues to fall. Machop. Alright, let me see. So I could go to Hutu. But he'll also, he's already getting EXP. And actually, Alquilava is actually a lower level than some of my other guys. Uh, see, I'm gonna actually let Quilava jump out here for a minute. I'm pretty sure he's, yeah, he's really close to leveling up. I'm gonna let him get a level up. Also, if he can burn a fighting type, that like totally screws him. 
Maybe I should have gone with who to get that uh, super effective damage. Yeah, he's gonna go for all out attack. And I didn't expect it to have rock type moves. If I live, yeah, I'm switching out. Mm -hmm. Gonna switch out to, uh. I mean, Quillama's gonna get the level up amount of EXP anyways. Look at that tiny sliver. So, I'm gonna switch to just someone else. Okay, I would then switch to Hootoot because I was worried about the. Uh, I was worried about Rock Throw hitting me. Oh, what? That's right, Rain restoring HP with Rain Dish. That's nice. Water Pulse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, having a strong attack does help. Now Kulava gets up to level 17. Whoa, you've got more zip than me. By the way, I'm a hiker, so I often go into mountains and caves. I don't usually go to town. I bet you go to all kinds of towns in your journey, don't you? You know, if we were to trade phone numbers, then we could exchange all kinds of information, yes? Registered the phone number. If you recall anything of a good heartwarming story. Based. Then Team Rocket. Who are you? You don't know us? We are Team Rocket! What? We broke up a while ago. Give me a break. We have not broken up. Actually, we did once, but we have come back to pursue Giovanni's ambition. Enough talking, just shut up and beat it. Thud. Wow, what a jerk. Nothing is going on. It's unsafe to go in there, so I'm standing guard to make sure people don't want her in. Am I not a good Samaritan? The Pokewell, also known as the Rainmaker. Well, oh wait, whoops. Didn't realize that there was another line. Look, we believe that Slowpoke's yawn summons the rain. Records show that a Slowpoke's yawn ended the drought 400 years ago. People also report seeing mysterious purple Pokemon erupting from a spell. Yeah, most of that was just saying, hey, we got some... We, that was like the original dialogue, but then it just drops that... Uh, a Slowpoke have disappeared from town. I heard their tails are being sold somewhere. Yeah, I totally dropped the bombshell on us that there's a spear tomb down there. Do you know what a neighbor corn is? You crack it open to discard the core and put it in this special machine, then you catch a Pokemon. Before Pokeballs became available, everyone used apricorns to catch Pokemon. Do any of your Pokemon know what they call hidden moves? When a Pokemon faints, it just means it doesn't have the power to battle, but it can still use hidden moves outside of battle. I got a Pokemon, do you have a Gibble? Want to trade it for my Beldum? So if you got a little of Gibble, you can pray to, for a Beldum. Hey kid, wanna rock out? Uh, sure. Ah, oh, your answer barely matters. You don't even have an instrument. But props for talking to me, I'll give this reward to you. <laughs> Shockwave is a cool electric type move that will never miss. Rock on. Electric type coverage would actually be good for my team right now. Let me see what I can do. No one can learn uh, Shockwave. I'll well, keep that in mind. Yeah, I'm gonna heal up. Got what damage I took during that exploration off. Yeah, Togepi is taking them all to hatch. Yeesh. And then in the Pokemon menu. Alright, uh, Geodude is my highest level Pokemon. Alright. Mm -hmm. And then, I'll go try passing the quiz back here. Hello, the dream, would you like to take a quiz? Excellent, let's get started. Question 1. Is Save Light the only Pokemon that can have the stall ability? In this point, I think so. Question 2. Is the Lax Incest required to breathe a Munchlax? I believe so. Nope, apparently not. Yes, ball. Randy, <laughs> don't need lunch lax insects for much lax. Reverse laws of maximum power was 150, that sounds correct. Huh, guess it must go higher than that, or does it apparently only go lower? 
Yeah, yeah, I like never use reversal. Oh wait, dang it, I was mashing X. Alright, save lie. So I guess reversal does not have a maximum power of 150. Right before I have a higher base that total than Alex's exam, I don't think so. But apparently it does. I'm getting pretty tired, it's 11 o'clock. I'm not sure if I'll go for the full length hour and a half video. Yeah, it's a bit, it's been about an hour. So this has a maximum power of 150. No. Yeah, the Gardevoir does have a higher base that total than Alex's exam. You can pick a prize Pokemon. So now you can get a Gen 3 starter. Yeah, I'll have to come back over to him. I'm just moving Pokemon around right now. I'm gonna put Hootie away. Alright, so you see. My favorite of the Gen 3 starters is Trico. Uh, none of them I really need because I already have Squirtle for a water starter. And I'm not gonna replace it with Mudkip. I already have Blaze. I already have a uh, Cyndaquil. Sorry, uh, so that's Palava for Fire. So, and I don't like Blaziken more than Typhlosion, so I'm not gonna replace that. Plus, it's my starting starter. I'm not gonna replace it. And Trico. Well, I don't have a Grass starter. I do have Leafeon, which uh, I'm not going to replace Leafeon. I really like having Leafeon on my team, but. Yeah, I'm not replacing Leafeon. Here I got Trico. Because that's a, a Dex entry down. And also... Let's grab some more of us Quizmasters. I do wonder... Okay, so it does give you a level 15 Trico. Raise the speed if a held item is used. Still doesn't have the best moves. He has Pound, Absorb, Leer, and Quick Attack. Oh, uh, glitch. I wonder if actually just opening the menu and reloading will make the glitch go away. Well, yeah, that, that does count. Alright, and I'm going to move Pokemon. Gonna take... Firstly, set it there. So that Trico will be put there. There, cause yeah. So yeah, for my team right now, uh, I got Leafeon definitely staying in the team. Love Leafeon, and I haven't been able to really use it before. Got a Hutu. I haven't used uh, Noctowl on a team before, and I need a Flyer. Lava Starter, obviously he stays. War Turtle. Uh, he's gotta stick around. Squirtle was also one of my favorite starters growing up. Uh, and uh, yeah, I really like War Turtle a lot. So, he's sticking around for my Water type. Geodude's gonna be my Rock type guy, but. And he's been coming in clutch. He has not, like, he is the reason that we made it through. Like, he's super strong. My strong, like, he might not have the highest base stat, like, my stat total out of all my guys, but he's been coming in really clutch. And then I have an egg in the last slot that I'm gonna. I'm gonna use the- I'm gonna have the egg hatch at the Togepi. Use Togepi for a while. I do like Togepi and slash Togetic. Togekiss is strong, but I honestly don't really like its design very much. Uh, so, but it'll be nice to- I have the EXP share, so I can actually make Togepi be on the same level as the rest of my team. Get that up to Togetic, uh, pretty- like, got leveled up pretty quickly. And then... Uh, 
Yeah, once it's up to the stand up with the rest of the team. I'll have it on my team for a while, unless I either come across something that I really want more than it, or the Red Gyarados. I'm gonna put the Red Gyarados on my team, and I'm not gonna switch out my War Turtle for Gyarados, because while they're both great water types, uh, I want to have War Turtle on my team, but I also want to have Red Gyarados. I know that's doubling down on double water types, but I mean, having Togetic on my team for a while is going to be doubling down on flying type. Uh, so if I were to switch War Turtle out for Gyarados instead, I'd be tripling down on flying type. So think about it that way instead. So switch, and that's probably switch out Togetic, unless like, oh, Faulkner's calling. Hey, this Faulkner, how are you doing? You've chatted with Janine in Fuchsia City, haven't you? No. All she ever talks about is her dad, you know, endlessly. I mean, it's good to have a healthy respect for your dad, but it's better to have some self-confidence. Don't you have faith in your own abilities? Cool. It is cool getting calls from a gym leader. Okay, I'm gonna save. Uh, yeah, for my team going forwards, I'm just gonna stay with this general crew. For a while, I can also. I'm excited. I can use Golem without having to uh, trade because I've never been able to use Golem because I can't trade. So it'll be cool to uh, be able to evolve him into Golem. I obviously gotta put the shiny Gyarados on my team, uh, and then Knockdown will be my flyer until like I'll see what I do when Legends start popping up because usually like my playthrough team up until. But, like, I just play with the guys I have, and I get up to the jet when and I get up to the league. And then, like, the only legendary I usually have in the league is the box art, like Lugia. I usually, like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bother chasing down the other random guys. Like, the roamers. Like, I'll try and catch them eventually. I'll try and get everything down pat for... Like, try and catch everything eventually get to Arceus. But yeah, like, my League team and my versus Red team are gonna probably be different. Right now I'm thinking about my League team, which is mostly gonna be this, except for, like... Unless I find something that I really want to put on the team, I'll probably have... Uh... I'll probably replace Togetic with Gyarados when I get there. And then, unless like Noctowl is, so then unless like Noctowl is like way worse than Togetic. If Togetic is doing me way better, then I'll stick with Togetic. Uh, and then when Noctowl, uh, does the thing, when I get to Lugia, I'll switch Noctowl out for Lugia. Because that switched out my flying type. And then that'll basically be my uh, lead for That'll basically be my team for up to the champion battle, I think. Unless I come across something I really want to put in. And... I'm thinking if there's... And then, like, post-game... Usually I don't, like, catch a bunch of random Pokemon during, like, the Kanto part of the game. But, uh, Legends? Catching Legendaries especially like really strong high level ones, I'll most likely be sticking the legends on my team when I get them. Just having really strong legends is cool. But I'll still make sure to like keep my favorites on there. Because uh, winning with your favorites is more fun than just winning because you have a super powerful legendary. But I do like having super powerful legendaries. I'm gonna save one more time just because I'm I've always been the kind of guy to double save right before getting off. And yeah, I was doing all this talking, thinking out loud about what I'm gonna do with going forwards. Uh and yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video. Uh yeah, I'll be seeing y'all in the next video.